Talking about emotional intelligence, the first component is self-awareness. It is the basic building block of emotional intelligence. And sometimes we wonder, am I self-aware? What is self-awareness? What is the process of becoming self-aware? Self-awareness is about understanding our own strengths, weaknesses, needs, drives, and emotions. People with a strong self-awareness are neither overly critical of themselves, neither unrealistically hopeful. They're honest with themselves and they're honest with others as well. And people who are self-aware, they have a deeper understanding of how their emotions, how their actions impact others and affect others. And what is the consequence of their behavior, words they speak and the actions that they take. Self-aware people are also very clear about the values that drives them. They're clear about their goals and the direction they want to head. They're clearly aware of where they are headed, what they want to achieve, what they stand for. And therefore, in light of that, they can turn down any kind of distraction which might come in the way. So how do we recognize self-awareness? I'll speak about three things. The first and foremost is people who are self-aware, they're able to assess themselves realistically with a sense of frank expression. They can openly admit their mistakes or failures with a sense of humor because they don't limit themselves in terms of their identity to their work or who they are. Their acceptance of their failures and mistakes is very candid. It doesn't threaten them. However, people who are not self-aware, they might become threatened if they have come across, if they're reminded of, if they're made aware of their failures or their mistakes. They can also very openly speak about their emotions and the impact that their emotions are having on their work, on their job, and the colleagues around them. The second element of understanding whether we are self-aware or not is thirst for constructive criticism. Because self-aware people are aware of their strengths and weaknesses and limitations, they are also open to constructive criticism because they want to improve, because they know that they can actually build upon their strength, improvise on their weakness, and move forward. Their thirst for constructive criticism is a hallmark of self-aware people. They are not threatened or feel insecure because of their mistakes and failures. Just like you can't solve a problem whose existence you deny, similarly you can't work on your weaknesses unless you accept their existence. Self-aware people, because they're aware of where their weaknesses are, limitations are, they look for criticism because they know they can actually build up. And the third very important aspect of self-awareness is a sense of self-confidence. Because they're aware of their limitations, strengths and weaknesses, they venture out in areas where they're good at. They know where to seek help if they're venturing in areas where they're not good at. And in terms of that, their sense of self-confidence tends to improve. Self-aware leaders who are able to assess themselves properly are always in a better position to assess their organizations well. Self-awareness is the first element of emotional intelligence and by far the basic foundational block of emotional intelligence. That's where we start beginning to build up our emotional question. So be self-aware, be aware of your emotions, your feelings, your drives, your needs, your weaknesses and your strengths. And that's the beginning of the journey.